Brooks Brothers filed for bankruptcy protection on Wednesday. It's planning to close about 50 of its 200 stores. But it's going to take longer for J.C. Penney to get out of that red. The company lost more than $430 million this year. The retail industry is in a state of flux. With the rise of online shopping, many big box retailers struggle to keep up. As a result, many of these stores have had no choice but to close their doors. That being said, let's dive into some of these big box retailers who are running out of business. Number 1. JC Penney Picture this, it's the first quarter of 2020, and JC Penney, burdened by a staggering $4 billion debt, is staring bankruptcy in the face. Desperate to salvage its fortunes, the company files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, hoping to restructure and emerge stronger than ever. As November rolls around, two firms extend a lifeline, rescuing the beleaguered retailer from the brink. According to Retail Dive, JCPenney's journey to stability remains an uphill battle. Bloomberg's numbers expose the grim reality of JCPenney's holiday season, with sales witnessing a troubling average decline of 7.5% yearly, which is pretty shocking considering how this store was once famous. In the ever-evolving world of retail, there are stories of triumph and struggle. One such story is that of JC Penney, a department store that has weathered the storm and is now making a resurgence. But the bigger question is, will it? Number 2. Forever 21 Ah yes, the store that everyone loves. Forever 21 was the go-to for many people, except the key word here is, used to. Fun fact, Forever 21 is on the blink of collapse. Forever 21 was once a fashion powerhouse and a go-to destination for trendy apparel. But in 2019, the brand faced a devastating blow, bankruptcy, which was pretty deep, especially for those who absolutely loved the store. However, it seemed like the end of an era for this fashion giant. A handful of investors have saved the company since then, but it has been planning a comeback for years. However, unfortunately, it seems like the company is preparing to go completely out of business. Over 370 stores have been shuttered since 2019, and today only 414 locations remain open, which is shocking. As the curtain falls on Forever 21's story, we wonder about the lessons learned. The fashion industry can be brutal, demanding innovation and adaptability. Will Forever 21 rise from the ashes or become a symbol of a bygone era? I guess we have to wait and find out. Number 3. American Eagle Outfitters American Eagle Outfitters, the leading global speciality retailer, is teetering on the brink of bankruptcy. Its liabilities surpass its cash and near-term receivables. Last year's stock drop and the announcement of over 200 store closures added to its woes. The company's problems are not new. American Eagle has struggled for years, but the recent economic downturn has worsened. Sales have been declining and the company's debt load has increased. The company's problems are not just financial. American Eagle has also lost its way with its target audience. The company's clothes are no longer as fashionable as they once were, and the stores are no longer as inviting. American Eagle's problems are a cautionary tale for other retailers. The company's failure shows that it's not enough just to have a good product. Retailers also need to be able to adapt to the changing retail landscape and stay ahead of the competition. The future of American Eagle Outfitters is uncertain. The company could be forced to close its doors for good or find a way to reinvent itself and survive. Number 4. Abercrombie & Fitch Abercrombie & Fitch has been the go-to destination for trendy teens for over a century. But now, this iconic retailer finds itself facing an uncertain future. That said, Abercrombie & Fitch, the 130-year-old teen-targeting clothing retailer, may be in its final year. The impact of inflation in 2022 caused a higher-than-expected plunge in sales and almost 150 store closings. Deutsche Bank analyst Tiffany Canada said the institution is highly skeptical of Abercrombie's ability to stabilize its gross profit margin against its competitive and moral backdrop. The retailer is trying to move its operations to online platforms as its brick and mortar business falls apart. The company's problems began in the early 2010s when it was accused of discrimination against overweight and minority customers. The company also faced criticism for its sexually suggestive marketing campaigns. In recent years, Abercrombie & Fitch has struggled to compete with online retailers like Amazon and ASOS. Many consumers see the company's stores as outdated and uninviting. Abercrombie & Fitch's problems are not just financial. The company has also lost its way with its target audience. 
teens are no longer interested in the brand's preppy Abercrombie clone look. Are you a fan of this popular company? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. AMC After witnessing all the textile stores, this one might be the most shocking. AMC, the world's largest movie theatre chain, is in a precarious position. The company's stock price has plummeted, facing several challenges including rising debt, declining attendance and increased competition from streaming services. AMC's problems began during the COVID-19 pandemic when theatres were forced to close their doors. The company lost billions of dollars and its stock price plummeted. In 2021, AMC became a meme stock and the retail investors pushed its stock price up more than a thousand percent. However, the company's problems have continued and its stock price has since fallen. AMC has been plagued by controversies. More recently, Robinhood warned investors that AMC was about to file for bankruptcy. AMC has denied that it was about to file for bankruptcy, but the company's financial situation is still very precarious. The company has a large debt load, and its attendance has not yet recovered to pre-pandemic levels. The current economic challenges are also making things difficult for AMC. Inflation is rising, and customers are cutting back on discretionary spending. Number 6. Barnes & Noble Another casualty of the retail battlefield is Barnes & Noble, the beloved bookstore chain. Facing cash flow problems and a relentless decline in overall sales, Barnes & Noble finds itself in a difficult position. The rise of e-commerce giants like Amazon has cast a shadow over physical bookstores, and sadly, Barnes & Noble seems doomed. For years, it has teetered on the edge of bankruptcy, and now the unfolding economic crisis threatens to deliver the final blow. Barnes & Noble is not the only retailer that is struggling. Many other traditional brick-and-mortar stores are also facing challenges. But Barnes & Noble's problems are particularly acute. The company has been unable to adapt to the changing retail landscape and is now in danger of going out of business. Number 7. Macy's Macy's, the renowned high-end department store chain, is no stranger to the bankruptcy court. Filing for bankruptcy twice before, Macy's managed to dodge financial ruin in 2020 by securing a substantial financing deal. However, the tides have turned, and recent months have seen store shutdowns and online and offline sales declining. The imminent change in leadership adds fuel to the speculations that Macy's may be on the brink of closure. Macy's stock price has plummeted in recent months. The company has also announced the closing of 60 stores. The company's stores are no longer as inviting, and its selection of merchandise is not as diverse as it once was. Number 8. Kmart Do you remember when Kmart stood tall, dominating the American retail landscape with its 2,400 stores? It was a force to be reckoned with. But as they say, times change, my friends. Bankruptcy has become a harsh reality for Kmart in 2018, and a glimmer of hope emerged when Transform Co. extended a helping hand. Yet, despite these lifelines, Kmart now stands as a mere shell of its former self. Kmart filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 2002. The company has closed over 90% of its stores since 2005. And additionally, Kmart's stock price has fallen by over 99% since 2000. Number 9. Casper Sleep Casper Sleep, the direct-to-consumer mattress company, once valued at over $1 billion, is now on the brink of bankruptcy. The company has struggled for years, and the latest news is bad. The stats show Casper Sleep's revenue fell by 20% in 2022. This has led the company to lose over a whopping $100 million in the past year. And not just that, Casper Sleep's stock price has also fallen by over 90% since its IPO in 2017. Will Casper Sleep find a way out of this retail business mess? Number 10. Brooks Brothers In the world of remote work, the once stringent dress codes are now disappearing. And with that change, a storm is brewing for the legendary fashion brand. As lockdown measures gripped the nation, Brooks Brothers, renowned for its refined white-collar attire, faced a grim reality. Their bottom line plunged, and the high-end retailer declared bankruptcy in 2020. Once thriving, their stores dwindled from 400 to 125, a staggering decline. In a desperate attempt to adapt, Brooks Brothers ventured into casual wear, including sweaters and athleisure. However, they struggled to differentiate themselves from well-established competitors who already owned a loyal customer base. The fate of these retailers now stands as a big question mark. Will they all just shut down the stores, or will they find a way back to blow the fans? Who among these stores do you think will make a comeback? Let us know in the comments below. 
If it's your first time here, drop us a like, share and subscribe. And for more content, hit that notification bell and stay tuned.